Hey guys, it's Dylan and I'm going to show you a quick little video of how to tow a four-wheel drive vehicle on a tow dolly. So this will work with almost any four-wheel drive vehicle. This will not work with all-wheel drive or um, anything like that. So pretty much what you do, once you get up onto the dolly, you strap down the front tires. If you have a safety chain wrapped around the axle or frame or whatever solid part you can find, uh, I don't have a chain here that will work. But I'm just pretty much going right down the road, so I'll be fine. Make sure your straps are tight. Once you go, maybe a block down the road, pull over, tighten them down a little bit more since sometimes they'll come loose. And when you're up here inside the Jeep, you do not want to put the transmission in neutral. You'll want to keep it in park. So when you first get in like this, you'll want to go down to neutral with the transmission, bring the transfer case into neutral, transmission back up in the park you're good to go almost next what you'll want to do if you have a dolly like mine where the deck doesn't move then you'll want to um, have the key in the ignition and uh, turned like on so if you're going a long distance you'll want to uh, disconnect your battery for this or else it'll kill it so what that will do is unlock your steering wheel so the wheels can turn when you turn. If you're renting a U-Haul dolly or if you have a dolly where the deck does spin, uh, I think I have a picture of it here, then um, you'll want to keep the steering wheel locked because the deck does all the moving. If you have an older vehicle where the steering wheel doesn't lock, I would try to find one that um, doesn't have a moving deck. Like I towed home a 1972 Plymouth, Plymouth Valiant from New Jersey back to Pennsylvania. It was like a three or four hour trip and the steering wheel didn't lock on it and I was in a U-Haul moving dolly and the whole thing just kind of like tilted and it was kind of off center and uh, it just kind of took up more space than it should have in the lane. Like it was kind of off to the side a bit, so. Anyway, yeah, uh, you're good to go once. Once you get your lights hooked up, up there the original trailer lights don't work so um, I have my own Harbor Freight ones that just stick on with the magnet um, put your safety chain on make sure your hitch is all secure and you're good to go now I'm off to swap an engine into that Jeep which will be my next YouTube video